it real I'm independent, I don't need no deal I'm Jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill All right, so let's have a look at the new live looping feature inside Logic Pro. Now this feature has been available in the iOS version of GarageBand for years and it's amazing to see it as a work idea that's come into Logic. So those of you that have used GarageBand on iOS you might notice straight away we've got a new icon in Logic that's familiar to us. It's the grid icon just up here and that takes us into a view much like this where we've got our regular timeline here on the right hand side however we've got these weird kind of blocks over here on the left. Now we can use this icon just here, which is our tracks view, and that'll turn it off and give us just this grid option. We have the screen real estate, let's work with both at the same time. Now to get this working, we can very simply drag and drop our ideas in. So we're gonna use the Apple Loops library, and let's go instruments or drums, and let's see what we can find that fits us. Once we've found something we like, we can just drag it over and drop the block in here. It looks kind of tiny, but you know what? It's fully resizable, which is really great. We can just drag it down and we can also hold option and use our mouse zoom and so desire. You can just have this huge play button that makes you a loop. And it's going to play in time with our track as well. So I hear you cry, but what if I want to record something in? Well, pretty much the same process. What we can do over here is use our normal system to add something in. Let's add the sampler in, which is also a new feature we'll be covering shortly. And we've got a nice bass option loaded in there. And let's just record a bass line in really quickly. Well, to record it in, when we hover over here, look, you can see that we've got a nice record icon. And when we hit it, Very simply, it's gonna record that in for us. And now, when we play this. Now we have all kinds of controls available to us in the inspector for these. So if we were over here in our track view, inspector is still relevant to what we're used to in Logic. If we click just over here though, we get a different set of options over here in the inspector. And if you can't see your inspector on Logic, just press I, that is the default that's gonna bring it up there for you. For example, we could turn loop off and have this work as a one shot. And we might desire that if we're going to play different sections of, say, the bass at different times. But in this case, loop works fine for us. We can choose where it plays from. So whether it plays from the start, whether it plays from the last stop position, or whether it matches the cell position or the playhead position. We can have a play mode of start, stop, or it can be momentary, meaning we have to hold a trigger down for it to work each time. Now, we just recorded this in on the fly, and one of the notes seems ever so slightly off. We can use the quick quantize in here, and we could just quantize it to, say, eighth notes, and it will be now dead on the beat for us when we play it back. Well, what if we want to edit that as well? Well, while it's highlighted, if we press E, we get it in the piano roll just like you would normally. So we can just drag that last note out and it's now going to be the perfect loop for us. Now, just these two loops we're playing before, if we maybe wanted to trigger everything in the same time, we have a little arrow just at the bottom here. We can click that. It's gonna trigger everything off at exactly the same time. Now we have a performance quantize option as well. That's just currently set to one bar here, but we can have it set to be incredibly long at eight bars or off entirely, allowing us to go completely off spec other patterns onto the same track, we can always play alternate ones on an alternate track, but it's going to stop the other one playing. So the shaker down here will switch over to the shaker. And the first one will stop. All right, so we've got our idea down. How about recording it into the DAW? So to record our performance or our idea into Logic is relatively simple. First thing, we're just gonna hit stop twice just to make sure no clips are ready to play. In the top left-hand corner here, we need to enable performance recording. We need to have our tracks view section highlighted in Logic. So it's got the blue line around it like this. We're gonna hit record. And once we hit record, anything we then play in our clips section on the left-hand side is going to record.
and there we have our track recorded in. If we turn track recording off, we can go back to the start. And if we turn our live loops grid off, we've got our track here. Now, if you're wondering about performance, well, if you're using the Logic Remote app and have an iPad, well, you can actually control it directly from there. And this also works incredibly well on much larger projects. performance aspect sort of at your fingertips without the need of a dedicated MIDI controller, which is going to be very, very useful. Apple haven't said when that update's coming out, just that it is in the work. So that's been an introduction to the new Live Loop feature introduced into Logic. There's lots more we can do with this and we'll do a much deeper dive as we go through. If there are any specific questions or things you'd like to know about, please leave a comment below and we'll see what we can do. And I'll see if I can make something around that for you. Keep it real, I'm independent, I don't need no deal. I'm jaws on the beat, I got flow that kills. Do my thing with a few G's, Lauren Hill.